Hi there, Jamie Keith here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to change the color of an object in video with DaVinci Resolve 15. So I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 15. If you haven't used it before, I do have a beginner's tutorial that I'll link down below. But so for this one, the umbrella above my head here, the red one, I'm going to turn it to green and I'm going to apply it to other clips in this video. So let's get started on how to change these objects to a different color with DaVinci Resolve 15. So I've already brought the media into my media pool that I'm going to use here and I put together in my edit kind of the different sequence of this umbrella going around and I want to change the color to green in all of these or I could change it to any color but for this example I'll do green. So to do this what I need to do is look at the very bottom we need to go to the color section. So I'm going to click on color section and I'm ready to start. So to do this go up to this uh, thumbnail over here right click on it and we need to create a node. So you can see add node go to add serial and click we have our node so this is a node now we need to go down to the bottom to the qualifier select qualifier and we have our pickers over here so I'm gonna actually use my picker and I'm gonna select a, a color from this umbrella you can see how it kinda differs a little bit with shading and everything so there's some adjustments that you have to do to try to get as good as you can the more adjustments you do you know the more time it takes but I'm gonna click right about here over on the right hand side you can kind of see what happened but I can turn on the highlight over here to see what's selected. So I zoom out uh, I can see it's picked up a little bit of other things over here but not too much which I might go away with some adjustments. Now I can make some adjustments through the hue so if I, I'm going to increase the size of this and you can see if I drag it too much so that wasn't good so I'm just going to try to get that as nice and tight as possible. Uh, same thing with the saturation as I bring this around maybe right about there. I can even make some more fine tune through the matte finesse here so I could go through and add uh, change these numbers and you can always reset these numbers so you can go through and just see what works best uh, for you. What I notice right now what's happening is this is going to be changing color too and I'm going to show you different ways you can uh, make sure you get the right area changing color in a moment here. So you can make those changes so I could go back I could reset it here uh, maybe I'll try to do the clean black and you can see how it's making the adjustments to it but then how much that's a little bit too much on this one as I zoom out I don't like that one either so in this case uh, what I'm going to do is just move the saturation over and I'm going to leave it like that because you can see most of it's gone and now I'm going to make my uh, change on the color I'll turn off my highlight here and to change the color I'm going to go down to the U at the bottom and I'm going to go to the left because that's where uh, the green will come in. Uh, I could make it a little bit more exact around the edges here but I'm going to leave, uh, leave this for now. I could try zooming up and I could try adding a color if I hit the plus I could try to go to it and see if I could add a little bit just like that but the problem is that it picked up some other colors around here so but I'm gonna leave this like this for now because I want to show you a way you know, in a moment how you could just isolate an area too so if I hit play we have our green umbrella like so now I'm gonna go to my uh, next clip you can see this is the one I want to change so what I can do and if it works uh, it doesn't work all the time perfectly but I can create a shared node so I'm gonna save a shared node this is called shared node one now I can go over to here and I'm actually going to add this shared node. So right click and I'm going to go add node and share node ones right here. Click and look at that. We have our green umbrella like so. So if I hit play, that went through and added. Look at a little bit of green over here too. So that's how you can make some color changes uh, and also make a shared node to make things uh, go quick. If you're making adjustments to your shared node though, you'd have to right click and turn off the lock like this. But the thing is any changes I make to this one 
is going to be affected in the other one too so remember I can make adjustments and so it might not uh, work out perfectly and it might uh, not it might wreck the other one so if you ever want to delete nodes or change you can see I can reset the node grade I could delete so if I could just delete it you can see how it goes away if I was adding um, a cut, I could just do each frame by doing the same way before I could just add my node like so so if I go ahead and add node add serial then go down and make sure my picker I will select my picker go up get my color go over to my highlight and I'm gonna try uh, adjusting my hue again like so and I'm gonna show you this is gonna pick up a little bit extra things on here but I want to try to get as much detail on here I'll uh, clean this up a little bit more through here So I'm just going to leave it like that for this example, but you can see I have all these extra things on here. So if I turn this off, I'll turn this green first through here so I don't have to turn it off and I, you can see what turned green. Now I could go through and play uh, with a different hue and saturation matte finesse and maybe try to go through that way. But one thing you can do is add a window for a certain, that whatever the changes you make only affect a certain area. So if I go over here uh, to window and I'm going to just draw it around this. So I'm going to select this curve one and I'm going to draw this uh, right around this area too because I can just and when I join it notice all of this now isn't selected so if I go ahead and play I'll go back there only the so now that you can see this doesn't work too well right there so I might have to make that bigger I didn't think about where I was so you can make the adjustments so as I go back you can see so make it big enough though so everything kind of fits in it for the clip that you need so if I go this way and it's working fine like that. So the one thing though is if I was doing a shared node when I go to place those windows on that won't work because you can't place the window because a different clip will be in a different spot on this one. So if we go through you can quickly you can decide whether to add your shared node. So if I was going through on this one I could go back add my node shared node and you can see we have it green right away but like before we have it also green over here uh, so you might want to do it independently you go back to your edit window and I'll just hit you can see how we have our gray our green I'll hit play we have our green uh, umbrella as we're going through the street so remember that you could spend more time getting more detail uh, doing different things to get the colors just the way you want so I hope you like this tutorial today on changing a color of an object inside DaVinci Resolve 15 I'll put out more tutorials about the different parts of DaVinci Resolve uh, if you remember if you're just starting with it I do have a full beginners tutorial that I'll put down uh, with a link in the description so thanks for watching this week at Teachers Tech I'll see you next time